Uh, today I'm going to be creating a custom model and using the new templates based loading process that was introduced in Metadata Manager 9.5. Here's the agenda for the video. We're going to define a custom model. It's a really simple custom model called Business Laws. We'll then create upload and verify the template as, long, as well as the corresponding CSV file and then we'll run it and verify the results. So we're going to find this custom model. In this case it's real simple. It's just uh, basically we're going to have a name, a generic name, as well as a, a business law such as buy low, sell, sell high. Um, I've already created the model in MM. The way you'd create a new one, say, would be new model. Once you create the model, you then create the class. So I'd created a model called Business Laws, and then there I'd created a a separate class. Called the Business Law. Um, what I'm interested in 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 and creating is the name, business name, and the business law. Actually, this is a custom attribute that I added to the class. And then you also should model the relationships too. So that's that's a pretty easy part. Once you've have your model created, you need to generate what they call the default load template. go back to the presentation we defined it and so now we need to generate the default load template files and this is this is done using the mmcmd command which is in info home service utilities mmcmd in this example I'm going to create a directory called my biz laws and then I'm going to generate the default load template using this command. Um, once I have that I'll bring I'll show the files that are created on the server and then I've already FTP'd them as well down to my desktop and I'll cr open them up to review them here. So I've already scripted up this command and it's just generate default load template against your MM server, username, password, the model name, and then an output directory. If you run it, it doesn't give a success. So the two files, it'll create two files, a load template based on the model that was created the custom model and then also a empty spreadsheet. And the way those look so here's the load template file And it's almost an exact copy of the way the actual model looked within MM. You have the rule name, the name being used, uh, the target model. And so these, the way this works is you are mapping the attribute in that custom model name to the CSV column name. Same thing for, for description, business name, and business law. If you were to look at the generated CSV file, it would just be an empty one that has the corresponding header names. And then, so I've already, essentially I've already populated my CSV file 
it's a generic BL001 to 5 for these business laws. So this is what my finished CSV will look like. So if, if, if everything is clean in the load template, you can actually log back into MM. You come here and you would say, if it was a first time creating, this upload load template would be selectable and the rest would not. So I've already created it. Sorry. So I'm going to do an update. Click OK. You do the same thing again. There's MCMD commands that will do the same. So that's the template part. And So we inspected, we already looked at the load template and we uploaded it. Did it in MMUI. You also do it using these commands. So I guess one thing is if it's a more complicated CSV, you would actually need a process to create the data file or, or populate the CSV file. Um, in this case, I populated since I only really have five terms that I'm looking at. And then when we go to define the resource, there will be a place where it'll say which, where's the file you want to use. Um, I've already FTP'd it back up to the MM server. You could upload it through the browser, but it puts it in a, and it, uh, it puts it in a location that's not easy to find or to type. Um, but it would be, in terms of having to create the CSV, you'd have to put it in a place. You'd essentially have to create some sort of process to populate the CSV and put it in a directory that was accessible by MM. So I'm going to go back in and MM and go ahead and create the resource. Say add, scroll down to the bottom. So here's the command that you could run before loading in the process that will actually populate the CSV files. You could upload it. I'm going to click Add. Um, so I have uploaded my business law CSV to this to my home directory. And you can put change the has a header, column separated, or you can change these as needed. So that's the CSV file. And then I'm gonna link and this is the business rule or business law rule that we uploaded using the template. I'm going to click assign. At this point I don't have any enumerated links. And I'm 
not going to attach a schedule. And then I'm going to run it. Okay, so I ran the load and it ran successfully. Just if you look at the load details, go through all the parts within these errors, they should be here. You can also check the MM log, which you can actually get from the help export service. So if we go if we go back to our catalog. Always make sure to refresh if you just run a load. Clicking on it. So we can see the buy loan so I actually came under the business name instead of the business law. So I'd have to go and correct that. But in general, that's how you can create a custom model and load it using some pretty simple steps. So we created it back. Yeah, so we ran. It did load. It just loaded in the wrong place. S. So this isn't, this isn't, there's not any, camp, any uh, KB articles yet, but you could definitely find more information on it. And there's an MM custom annotation integration guide, as well as the, the metadata manager administrator guide for the MMCMD utilities. If you have feedback, you can give it here. Thanks for watching.